So for some people, Android 12 bit off a lot more than they could chew. And one of the most notable things that Android 12 changed is that if you go to the quick settings toggles, you'll find that our data toggle is gone and that when we click on this internet toggle, it actually has them merged into the same area. So as you can see, we have our Wi-Fi toggle and we have our mobile data toggle. Well, what if I told you there is a way that you could get your toggles back? In this video, I will show you how to do that. Now, fair warning before getting into the meat of this video is that you should probably take a picture of your quick settings toggles very quickly because while you do this, uh, it'll completely erase the entire configuration and layout of your quick settings toggles. So there you have it. That's your warning. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is familiarize ourselves with ADB. I'm not going to explain what ADB is, but if you want to find out, I will put that in the description. Basically, all we need to do at this very point in time is to go to our developer options. So that the way that we open our developer options is that we have to go to settings, about phone, tap the build number seven times, and then go to the developer options settings. After that, we're going to turn on USB debugging, and from there, we can download the SDK platform tools. Now, um, I'm not going to explain the SDK platform tools either. If you want to find out more about it, there will be a link in the description to it. But what we're going to do is download the SDK platform tools corresponding to the operating system that we have at the moment. So as an example, I'm going to download the one for Linux. So we're going to download this one, we're going to put that in our home directory, and then we are going to extract it. After we extract it, we're going to open a terminal, and we're going to, let me just make this bigger for you, we're going to cd into our platform tools, and then we're going to cd into the platform tools folder. From there, we're going to type dot slash adb devices. Now, it's already recognized my phone, but I have not given it these specific permissions. So what I'm going to do is fix that very quickly and I will cut. All right, so now that I've given it the specific permissions it needs, you can see that it lists the device there. Now all we have to do is we're going to go to that specific other website, which has the specific tutorial. I'll leave that in the description if you want to follow that instead. Um, but what we're going to do is set the global settings provider model to false with ADB shell. So all you have to do is type dot slash ADB shell settings put global settings provider model false. And then after we do that, we're going to write dot slash ADB shell, uh, ADB shell settings put secure and then the rest of that. Now it's going to say that it didn't find it and that's because we have to change the quotes to little the little lines. But after we do that and we're going to cut to my phone very quickly. You will see that we have the Wi-Fi and mobile data toggle right there. So we're going to scroll down. You can see all of our toggles are gone. All we have to do is press this little edit button and you can see we have all of our toggles there again. We can just put them all back one by one. That's gonna be a bit of an exhausting thing to do, but like I said, you're gonna to want to take a screenshot of your toggles and then go at it from there. So hopefully this was of help to you. As you can see, we can turn off my mobile data. We can turn off my Wi-Fi and it works just like it did on previous versions of Android, but hopefully that was helpful to you. Again, links will be in the description below, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.